Hi guys, uh, it's Terry here again. Um, as I mentioned previously, right? Um, I do give online classes, Form 4 and Form 5, CSEC Maths, Chemistry and Physics, right? Um, <clears throat> I'm doing these ad maths videos because several people have asked me to give them classes, right? Um, I just haven't been able to fit it into my schedule. So in the meantime, I'm pro offering um, free solutions, free work solutions for you guys, right? Um, so like I said, if you do like my channel, just hit um, subscribe and like, please, right? Um, so today I'm going to be looking at the June 2019 question two, right? Um, so in this question here, what we have is a quadratic function and we want to express it in this format here, right? So essentially what they've done here is given us an, an easy maths question basically, right? Um, so there are two ways that we can work this. I'm going to show you both methods, right? So the first method is this, right? Now you want to write um, this expression, this function, sorry, 2x squared minus 7x minus 6. I want to write that in the form a, open brackets, x plus h, all squared plus k, right? Now, if you are comfortable with maths, this is a maths question, right? Um, so let's see, what we're going to do first, I'm going to do it using, okay, so let's start with this here. Minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 6, right? And the first method I'm going to show you is this. First thing we do, we can factor out this 2 here, this minus 2. So this is minus 2, open brackets, x squared plus 7 over 2x plus 3, right? That's one thing we can do here. Now, we don't do anything with the minus 2, leave it added as is. And what we're going to do, we're going to try to complete the square. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, this is going to be an x, right? And we're going to write, we're going to find half of this figure here, which is plus 7 over 4 squared. And what we do, we write back the plus 3 minus, and what we have to do here is square the 7 over 4. Right? So what I'm going to get here now is minus 2, open brackets, x plus 7 over 4 squared plus 3, right? And this is going to be minus 7 sums of 49 over 16, close brackets. What I'm going to get here now is minus 2, open brackets, x plus 7 over 4, squared. And we need to work out 3 minus 49 over 16. And what I'm going to get here is minus 1 over 16, right? So now I need to multiply everything by the minus 2 now. So what we're going to end up with is minus 2, open brackets, x plus 7 over 4 squared plus 1 over 8, right? So what I've done here, I've written my function in the form, this form here that they wanted. So therefore, we can say that a is equal to minus 2, um, h is equal to 7 over 4, and k is equal to 1 over 8, right? Now, this is one method of working this problem, right? Um, there are some, some students who prefer this method, right? But some of you all have a problem with it. So let me give you an alternative method in which we can work this problem. So we will have minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 6. Minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 6, and I'm going to write that in the form e, open brackets, x plus h squared plus k, right? Minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 6, right? So what I'm going to do here, right, I'm going to expand the right-hand side, right? So this is going to be e multiplied by x plus h squared, which is x plus h multiplied by x plus h, right, plus k, and this is going to give me e. Now to remove or to multiply this bracket here, you're going to say x multiplied by x. <clears throat> that's going to give me x squared. 
and I'm going to say x multiplied by each that's going to give me plus x each or each x however you want to write it then each by x is going to give me another each x <clears throat> and then each by each is going to give me each squared plus key right then we need to multiply everything by e so this is going to become e x squared plus um, e each x plus e each x plus e each squared plus key and therefore this is going to give me e x squared plus 2 e each x plus e each squared plus key right now the whole purpose of expanding the right hand side is so that we can equate coefficients right because at the end of the day what we have is this minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 6 is actually equal to that whole expression so equating coefficients all right um, we can see we only have we have ax squared here but you have minus 2x squared here so therefore a is equal to minus 2 so you figured out a already next thing this is the only x term we have here 2a each x right and the only x term you have on this side is minus 7x so what we're going to do we're going to say 2 multiplied by a h is equal to minus 7 but you know what a is already a is minus 2 so this is 2 by minus 2 h is equal to minus 7 so minus 4 h is equal to minus 7 h is equal to minus 7 over minus 4 so h is equal to 7 over 4 so you figured out h next thing all we have here is a h squared plus k left and you have minus 6 here so therefore e h squared plus k is equal to minus 6 but you know what e is e is minus 2 h is 7 over 4 you're going to square this plus k is equal to minus 6 so this is um, minus 2 multiplied by this will be 7 squared which is 49 over 16 plus k is equal to minus 6 um, when we multiply minus 2 by 49 over 16 you're gonna get minus 49 over 8 plus k is equal to minus 6 so therefore k is equal to minus 6 plus 49 over 8 all right let's hope we get the same answer as before um, so that it's minus 6 plus 49 over 8 and what I'm gonna get here is k is equal to 1 8 right k is equal to 1 over 8 so you realize wait a minute I've got the same answer like I got before right so we can write minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 6 is equal to a which is minus 2 open brackets x plus 7 over 4 squared plus 1 over 8 right so we got the same answer in both instances so any method you you can use is up to you right um, let's do this next part here state the maximum value of f of x now we've written the function f of x right in this format here which is minus 2 open brackets x plus 7 over 4 plus 1 over 8 right now there's an advantage of writing my quadratic in that format right one sec um, make sure we have the correct thing there good now the one in maximum value of the function the maximum value of the function is simply this value here so notice it said state there's no calculation required there the answer is just 1 8 right and then they want you to know at what value of x does this occur now like I said this is a maths question really right not even mad maths so all we need to do is to put this x plus 7 over 4 equal to 0 and therefore x is equal to minus 7 over 4 so that's the value of x for which f of x is a maximum right um, this next one here now using your answer to a determine all values when f of x equal to 0 so our function f of x right was equal to minus 2 open brackets 
x plus 7 over 4 squared plus 1 over 8. Right? That's what f of x was equal to. And they want us to put f of x equal to 0. So f of x equal to 0. What we're going to write now, we're going to put minus 2, open brackets, x plus 7 over 4 squared plus 1 8 is equal to 0. So we can write minus 2, open brackets, x plus 7 over 4 squared is equal to minus 1 over 8. Um, divide everything by minus 2, you'll end up with x plus 7 over 4 squared, right, is equal to um, 1 over 16. So we're going to find the square root now. So this is going to be x plus 7 over 4 is equal to the square root of 1 over 16. So therefore, x plus 7 over 4 is equal to, now when you find a square root, it's plus or minus, right? So this will be plus or minus 1 over 4. So we have to, we're going to have two solutions. So either or my either solution will be x plus 7 over 4 is equal to a quarter. That's plus a quarter. So therefore, x is a quarter minus 7 over 4. So therefore, x in this case is going to be minus 3 over 2. So that's one solution. Or we have to put x plus 7 over 4 is equal to minus a quarter. So therefore, x is equal to minus a quarter minus 7 over 4. And therefore, x is equal to all we're going to get is minus 2, right? So our solutions are minus 2 and minus 3 over 2. So that's my answer for that piece. The next one now, they want us to sketch the function. Now you've just worked out the solutions, right? We know that x is equal to minus 2. We know that x is equal to minus 3 over 2, right? Now minus 3 over 2 is minus 1 and a half, eh, guys? Now, they want us to sketch a function. Now, you already know it's a quadratic. We already know that it has a maximum, right? It has a maximum function. Maximum value, sorry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch. I know what the solutions are. The solutions are, one of them here is going to be um, minus 3 over 2. So this here is minus 3 over 2. And minus 2 is going to be located here. This is minus 2. Now the question says that um, the one the values of x for which f of x is less than um, 0. First thing we're going to do, we're going to sketch a function, right? Because it's a maximum, it has a maximum value, that graph is going to look like this, right? And this maximum value here, we know what this maximum value is. That is, what do we get for that? We got 1, 8 for that, right? So this was 1, 8. It's not required, but that's where the 1, 8 is, right? Now, let's see. When they ask you to solve this or sketch the region that satisfies f of x less than 0, what this is really asking me, you need to understand what this is asking me here. They are asking us what part of this graph is less than 0, right? Now, the x-axis is my line y is equal to 0. So what they are asking us in the question is what part of this graph is going to be less than my x-axis, right? And that is, that is going to be anything that is less than minus 2 and anything that is greater than um, minus 3 over 2. So the shaded region or the region that satisfies this equation will be here and across on this side here, right? So this says sketch the function and show your solution. So that's my solution here, right? That is x is greater than minus 3 over 2, right? And x is less than minus 2, right? So that's my answer for that part. And so the last part of the question here. So they give us a geometric series, right? They've given us some terms in x and y. 
and they want us to prove something here, the sum to infinity. Now, in this expression here, my first term is y over x, right? That's my e. My second term, to find my second term, we usually take my first term and multiply by my common ratio, right? But we know what the answer is. It is y squared over x cubed, right? So first thing we need to do, we need to figure out what r is. So to get r, r could be equal to a r divided by a, and that is really my second term, which is y squared over x cubed divided by y over x, right? So therefore, r is equal to y squared over x cubed multiplied by x over y. So this x will go into this and we'll get x squared. This y will go into this and we get y. So therefore, r is equal to y over x squared, right? So that's the first thing we needed to do. We need to figure out what r is. And I mean, you could look at it from inspection as well. How do we move from this term to this term? All we're doing is multiplying by y on top and you're multiplying by x squared at the bottom, right? Now, there is a formula for the sum to infinity. The sum to infinity for a geometric progression is this, a over one minus r, right? So my a is y over x. So this here is y over x divided by one minus my r, which is y over x squared, right? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the next slide here so we can see clearly what I have to do. So let me show you this. So sum to infinity, right? We said it was a over one minus r, but a was y over x. So this is y over x divided by one minus my r, which was y over x squared. So this is y over x squared. So let's see how we're gonna work this out now. So let's write this as y over x divided by one minus y over x squared, right? Now let me just go back and see what we're trying to prove here. We're trying to prove s infinity. So always look to see what you're trying to prove, right? S infinity is equal to xy, this is xy open brackets, um, x squared minus y to the minus one x squared minus y to the power minus one. That's what we're trying to prove. So, let's see. So it's y over x divided by, so what we should do, we should try to um, work this part out here. So this here is gonna be x squared at the bottom. You think of this as you're adding two fractions, right? Um, so this will be x squared minus y so this is gonna be y over x, right? And because we divide them by a fraction, we can change this to a multiply. So this becomes x squared over x squared minus y. And this x will cancel with this and you'll end up with x here. So therefore what you're gonna end up with is xy over x squared minus y, right? And what that's gonna give me is xy multiply by one over x squared minus y. But from our laws of indices, we should know that we can write this as x squared minus y to the power minus one, which is what they told us to prove, right? So this brings us to the end of question two in the June 2019 CSEC AdMats paper, right? Like I said, if you like my work, just hit subscribe and like, right? Um, and this is just for those students who really want me to give them advanced classes and I can't fit it into my schedule, all right? All right, guys, you take it easy.